in this video i am going to teach you how to solve question number 2 from exercise 14.1 so as we know this exercise is based on finding the mean of the given data so there are three methods direct method step division method and assume mean method so today i am going to explain you question number 2 using assume mean method you can solve these questions by any method but let us learn all the methods so let me start with the question consider the following distribution of daily wages and let us take salary of 50 workers of a factory so between 100 to 120 12 workers get the salary salary between 120 to 140 14 will get 140 to 168 and 6 workers will get salary between 160 to 180 10 workers will get the salary between 180 to 200 so the question is find the mean daily wages of the worker of the factory by using appropriate method so here i found that assume mean method is appropriate because you'll come to know it is based on the value of frequency that is fi and class mark xi if fi and xi are smaller numbers then you can use direct mean method otherwise you can go for step division or as a mean method so this we will mark as class interval and this number of workers will be taken as frequencies so class interval i have marked 100 to 120 till 180 to 200 and now this fi is what number of workers so 12 workers will get the salary between 100 to 120 then 14 will get for the next class interval and so on Now xi we have to find out that is class marks. So already I have told you how to find out the class mark. But let me explain you once again. Class mark is lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. So just check here 100 plus 120 divided by 2 we can do. You will get answer as 110. Otherwise just observe this. So range of this data that we will denote with h your range of the class interval that is upper limit minus lower limit or you can say the difference between upper limit and lower limit so 120 minus 110 you can take the any class interval so no problem 120 minus 140 i'll do here and this is a difference so we'll get here 20 as a difference so you can do 120 minus 100 you will get here range will be same that is called as what h now class mark is what 100 plus 120 divided by 2 if you do that you will get answer as 110 here just by observation only you can find out here 110 you got here so 120 130 140 so 130 will be at the middle then here 150 will get next you'll get 170 and one, next you'll get what 190 now we have to find out the mean so we can use direct method in direct method you have to find out fi into xi so you can multiply this if you feel that this is easy you can do with this otherwise one more method i'm going to teach you today that is step division method so for that you should know the model class so you can see here this is the middle most class middle most class interval and here you need the class mark of middle most class so this is the model class i can mark like this so a is what here class mark of middle model class or middle class you can take for your convenience so this is called as what a so if you leave these two two class intervals you will get this so this is we will denote with what a this is what class mark of model class so this we got 150 next we have the range now just start we will start with the finding the mean so before finding the mean i would like to write the formula so that you will come to know what are the things you have to calculate this assume mean this is the mean by assume mean method so formula is a plus summation of fi into ui upon summation of fi into h so here we know that a we got here that is 150 that is a class mark of model model class then f5 we know this is f5 then you have to find out ui 
and h is the range so how to find out ui so you have formula is di upon h that is what range but before finding the ui you should know what is di so here di is how can find out di xi minus e so xi is a class mark a is a class mark of model class so first let us find out here di when you find out di you will get what ui so di equals to xi minus a so this is xi minus a 110 minus 150 that is minus 40 you will get again xi the xi of second range or second class interval this is 130 minus 150 you will get here minus 120 here 150 minus 150 only 0 then again 170 minus 150 that is 20 190 minus 150 that is 40 plus 40 this is our di now ui ui is corresponding di i means what you have to take the values of first row then if you put here i2 you have to take the values of second row so this is what di divided by range so here we know that range we found here 20 that is what upper limit minus lower limit or difference of upper and lower limit so we have here h is 20 so minus 40 di is minus 40 divided by 20 is 2 plus minus is minus here minus 20 upon 20 is minus 1 then 0 upon 20 is 0 only 20 upon 20 is 1 then 40 upon 20 is 2 next what you want we found here ui now we want fi into ui we have fi we have ui so just multiply then find out the summation means what addition of fi into ui fi into ui so see here instead of multiplying fi into xi you can multiply fi into ui 12 to the 24 that is minus 24 14 ones are 14 minus 14 8 zeros are 0 6 ones are 6 10 to the 20 so now easily you can find out summation of fi into ui which is required to find out the mean now just add according to their signs because we have here integers positive and negative if you take this and if you find out the addition of these all you will get this as what minus 12 so be careful about sign so here see minus minus so we have to add here and sign will be minus then you can add these two you will get here minus 26 and if you do further calculation finally you will get answer as minus 12 so all the data required to find out the mean is ready so let us put the values a is a class mark of modal so let us write here class mark of modal class so whenever you want to find out the mean by assume mean method first you have to find out a this is nothing but what assume mean so a is 150 plus summation of fi ui we got here minus 12 so whenever you got the negative integers put them in bracket into h is range that is 20 upon so this division is there only for this part so summation of fi so that is addition of all the frequencies here if you calculate you will get what 50 because here in question only it is given that there are 50 workers so here it is 50 first find out this fractional part and then add with this 150 so here you can cancel it zero zeros so we'll get here this is minus 24 divided by 5 next you can do the cross multiplication because as it is fractional part and this whole part so if you multiply you will get 15 5 are 75 0 plus minus is minus so already we have cancelled this 0 so no need to write this 0 minus 24 div whole divided by 5 so here you will get 750 minus 24 is 726 divided with 5 now 
these two have no common factor other than 1 so you can do the normal division 726 divided by 5 here as the 726 is not completely divisible by 5 you will get the answer in decimal suppose the numerator is completely divisible by denominator then you will get answer in whole numbers so we'll get here answer as 145.20 so this assume mean is nothing but the wedges so which we are going to measure in terms of rupees we calculate here wages in terms of rupees so per person if you consider the daily wages for per person average or mean you will get what 145.20 so that is our question find the mean uh, mean daily wages of the worker by the factory so you can write here further hands or you can write therefore mean daily wages of workers equals to rupees 145.20 so same you can find out by step division method and you can find out by direct method you will get the same answer